I was taught that whenever you're struggling to draw something, what you should do is to break the object down into simple, easy to draw shapes. As someone who draws a lot of humans, I confess that animals can be quite a struggle sometimes. So today, let's do a bit of studying by learning how to draw a doggy face using simple shapes. We'll be focusing on dogs for now because different animals require different shapes. I don't want to overwhelm you. Besides, dogs are cute. I love them. We're also going to just be focusing on dog faces and not the entire body. Let's do it one at a time, okay? Feel free to get a pencil and paper or open any drawing app you use so you can draw along. Remember, you can always pause and rewind the video to help you understand the method better. Alright, let's do this. So, I downloaded some doggy pictures on Unsplash and we're gonna use them as reference. In order for us to be able to figure out the basic shapes of these cute dog faces, we're gonna draw over these images. It's not the same as tracing. I'm just gonna make a collage and put all these images in one single canvas. I'll be using Medibank Paint for this. Let's lower the opacity so we can see the shapes we're drawing. Now, I don't know about you, but when I draw a human head, I usually start with drawing a circle or a ball. By the way, if you want to learn how to draw human faces in different angles, I have a tutorial about that which you can find in the eye icon above or by checking the link in the description. So why am I bringing this up? Well, I was thinking we can use the circle as a starting point to draw the head of a dog. Drawing over these heads, this is where I think the circle would fall. Now, you're not really stuck with circles. You can modify the shape a bit based on what breed the dog is. Let's draw a guideline underneath the eyes which will indicate the eye level. In between the eyes, we're going to draw another guideline to indicate where the dog is facing. Now, let's draw the shape of the eyes. Compared to human eyes, dog's eyes are a bit further away from each other because their snout tends to be wider than the bridge of human noses. Now, the position of the eyes differ depending on the dog's breed and what direction they're looking. So this is what it looks like so far when I hide the references. Okay, now let's focus on the snout. Some dogs have long snouts, some dogs have shorter snouts. So you're gonna have to do your own research and get some references. Regardless, we're going to draw a uniform shape for the snout. Now, this part might get a bit tricky because there will be foreshortening involved, but let's take that as a challenge we can overcome. Thinking back when I'm drawing human faces, I tend to draw the bridge of the nose first. So let's apply that here. From the corner of the eyes, let's draw a curved line going towards the end of the snout. Take note that when dogs are facing front, their snouts will look shorter due to foreshortening. At the end of these lines, we're going to draw the front of the snout. I'm thinking we're going to build the shape around the nose and the chin. Looking at these photos, I'm seeing a bit of a curved trapezoid shape. This shape will be longer when the mouth is open. After that, let's draw a guideline on where the top lip will be. Alright, the next thing we're gonna add is the jaw. Starting from the bottom corner of the trapezoid, let's draw an angled line going upward to the side of the circle. Then let's draw some shapes for the ears. Depending on the breed, a dog's ears can either stand up or flop. If the ears are standing, we're just gonna draw a simple pointy shape like this on the top side of the circle. If the ears are flopping, imagine it as a paper being folded. Start with an angled line and draw a B-shape that forms a triangle from this corner to the tip. Now we have the basic shape of our dog. Look how simple it is. Now let's test it out by drawing a dog's face from scratch. I'm thinking of drawing a corgi for this because corgis are so cute. Look at that, they're so cute. I can't even, I just wanna Anyway, I have a reference off screen, but I won't draw over them this time around. Let's draw a circle, then let's draw a guideline for the eyes. Draw the shape of the eyes, and then let's draw the center guide so that we know where the dog is facing. Let's draw the snout by drawing a curved line from the eyes farther from the camera. Then let's draw the front of the snout from the top of the nose to the chin. Let's draw the guideline for the mouth, then let's draw the jaw. Lastly, let's draw the shape of their giant ears. There we go. Now let's add some details. I like to start with the eyes. The whites of the eyes are red rarely ever shown when they're looking up front, so let's draw some pupils. After that, let's draw the nose. To keep it simple, we can just draw a rounded triangle like this. To add the nostrils, let's draw a swirl like this and just fill this little oval here. Do it on the opposite side, keeping in mind the perspective. Let's draw the mouth. Starting from the bottom bit of the nose, let's draw a guideline to indicate the center and then let's draw an upward curved line at the guideline of the mouth, then curve then downward to the side of the trapezoid. Then let's draw an angled line like this, following the contour of the jaw for the mouth. If the mouth is open, draw a curve downward like this to complete the mouth. Let's draw a bit of a tongue that is flopping. 
Then let's draw the jaw and the chin. Let's draw the rest of the head and their big ears and we are done. Let's remove our basic shape so we can see the sketch clearly. And there you have it. Simple and easy dog face. Let me know in the comments below what animals you'd like me to make a drawing tutorial of. You can apply these basic shapes in different angles. Just be sure to keep the perspective and volume in mind so that it looks more appealing. If you have no idea what I mean about volume, you can click this video right here to learn about it. You'll also learn how to properly draw clothes on your character and your dogs!